Hi, I'm going to explain how to change a rotating fan on a standard 5.7 motor. The tools we're going to use are the special fan removal tool that uh, we have made with the radius being that of a 5.7. We have drawings of a uh, fan removal tool that you could get from us and have machined yourself. The radius, we'll show you the radius for a 5.7 and the other side will be a radius for 7.2. Well, also what we're going to need is a uh, small hammer, a Allen screw, and a one half inch uh, open end wrench. Okay, the first thing we want to do is, as always, when we're working on a electric motor, is make sure that the power base are disconnected. We're going to turn the motor on its side, and with the radius of the fan removal tool, we're going to apply it to the outer shell, removing the outer fan shell. Exposing the rotating fan, the nut, and the washer. So the next thing we want to do is take our half inch open end or socket wrench. These have been modified in our lab because we do so many of these. We're going to place the socket on the nut and with the hex head, we're going to loosen. Removing the nut, the washer, and the old rotating fan. Now, we're putting on the new rotating fan. We're going to insert it as such. The washer, we want to make sure that the sharp edge of the washer is facing away from the fan. Reapply the nut. Reapplying the wrench and the hex and tightening. Now we're going to replace the fan shell and using nothing but your press fit, we're going to reapply. I'm going to now demonstrate how to change the brush on a standard 5.7 back motor. First thing we always do when we're changing brushes on a motor is making sure that the power leads are disconnected. We're going to be changing these two brushes. There is a lead wire coming from the field. At the end of that lead wire is a flat brass terminal, and that is slid between the plastic of the brush and the brush brass. And we're going to remove that first before we take and remove the clamp. And we take that flat brass terminal out by taking a flathead screwdriver at about a 45 degree angle and slightly tapping it out. Being very cautious that you do not contact the commutator surface. Once the flat brass terminal has been loosened and removed, we can now remove the brush clamps. Brush clamps are removed and the old brush is taken out. Now we're going to insert the new brush by doing the same process but backwards. So the first thing we want to do is put the new brush in position, keeping in mind that on the brush there is a positioning tab. That positioning tab must be placed in the slot that's on the bracket. That will ensure the proper placement of the brush. So once it's in place, we can reinstall the brush clamp. Very carefully, we're going to now push that brush lead clamp back inside the slot there between the brass and the nylon that I spoke earlier of. Once that's in position, we can now do the other brush. Once both brushes are completed, we must heat run the brushes for half voltage for a period of 30 to 45 minutes. 
Now we can do that by using two motors. By using two motors, we take one lead from each motor and we connect it. Then we take the other two leads, wire up to a cord, a power cord. By doing this electrical series, half of the voltage will be dropped across each motor. In this case, we have two 120 volt motors. There'll be 60 volts dropped across each motor for a period, again, about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And once the, uh, the heat run period has been uh, performed, the motor is ready to reinstall in the unit.